Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I want to ask you a question. Are you tired, sick and tired of being tired, empty, frustrated? Are you getting more and more bitter and disgusted with your life? Or are you full, peaceful, joyful, satisfied, settled, calm? Which is it for you? How do you feel on the inner man when life is hitting you on all sides? How does it make you feel? When your pockets are full and everything's going your way and you got the car of your dreams and the house of your dreams and, and you're popular, you got all these people patting you on the back. Yeah, that's going on on the outside. But what does it look like on your innermost being? Are you angry? Is it dark in there? Hmm? Are you full of turmoil? While you're in the middle of your outer climax? Are you having a storm brewing on the inner man? Are you empty? Why is that? I know you wonder sometimes, why is it everything is working out great? Everybody knows your name, but life is not worth living. Why? Why is that? What is going on? You feel such a lack inside. You're so dissatisfied. You're so restless. You're so frustrated. You're angry. You you get uh you, you you explode at the drop of a hat. A little anything can send you flying off the handle. Why? There's something missing. It's what I refer to as a hole in your soul. And you may have many holes in your soul looking for love in all the wrong places, seeking admiration, wanting people to pat you on your back and tell you how wonderful you are, looking for all kind of lovers, money, materialistic position, everything that your little heart can aspire to. You're reaching you're grabbing, you're grasping at straws, you're scratching, you're digging, and you keep coming up empty. Why? Then you look at the story of Jesus with the fishes and the loaves. That's an interesting story, wouldn't you say? Here we have a whole bunch of folks out there, they're tired from the journey. And Jesus does not want to send them home empty. So what he does is he has all the disciples set them down. And then this little boy, this little nobody of a boy, has nothing on him but two fishes and, a, and some loaves, right? And he sits there and he gathers his little basket. And Jesus distributes it among all those thousands it was at least five thousand people and that was only counting the heads of men they didn't even count the mothers and the children they only counted the men and came up with a five thousand count but you see how interestingly jesus after they distributed that everybody broke the bread and everybody got a piece of fish they never ran out as a matter of fact they gathered up fragments so much that they have plenty left over why here's the reason when you have jesus in your life there is no dissatisfaction when you have jesus in your life and you're filled with his holy spirit and his power his love his peace his joy there is no hole in your soul yes there is still the healing process. Yes, God has to settle you down and establish you. That's a progress. But you are given life. You are given peace. You are given his love. So now there is a satisfaction inside while you're in the point of progress and while he's processing you. Why are you satisfied? Because God sends his son not only to die 
for the forgiveness of our sins, but to fill every hole in your soul. To every need you have, Jesus is the answer. To every want you have, Jesus is the answer. To all the love you always longed for and didn't get, Jesus is the answer. For all that peace that you need, Jesus is the answer. Here's the beautiful part. When God gets through filling you, you have so much left over, you can share it with others. And as you share it with others, you get more and more for yourself. There's always more for you because you're passing it out. The more you share love, the more you get love. The more you minister peace, the more you get peace. The more you share Jesus, the more of Jesus you get for yourself. It is such a beautiful analogy that you never run out. You never come up on the short end of the stick because Jesus is ever filling. He is an ever feeding and ever fulfilling and ever gratifying. He never runs out. He is an endless store of beauty, an endless store of love, an endless store of peace, an endless store of life-giving power that keeps you revived, that keeps you invigorated, that keeps you on the path to your purpose, that keeps you focused, that keeps you energized, that keeps you whole. And in the process of getting more and more whole every step you go, God bless you. And for those of you who don't know Jesus, oh my goodness, let me tell you, as one who used to be an emotional cripple, as one who used to be jacked up, toe up from the flow up, please, I don't care what doubts you have about Jesus, Please, you owe it to yourself to give him a try. Ask God to forgive you. Invite Jesus into your heart. Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, give him a try. Because I'm telling you, all those scars, all those hang-ups, all those insecurities, all those nasty memories, all those foul attitudes, all of the things that can't help it and all the bondages and the knots that you're tied up in, God can remove them all through Jesus Christ. That's why he carried, he accepted so many whips on his back because by his stripes, which are the scars on his back, we are healed. And you can be healed and whole on the inner man. Don't you want to try that out? Don't you want to exchange your ashes for God's beauty? Don't you want to exchange your emptiness, anger, and bitterness for God's love, joy, peace, and holiness? Don't you want Jesus? Please, try him. Today is the day of salvation. God bless you.